Good morning on day four. 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 Five. Five. Welcome to day five. When you're on holiday mode, you don't even know what day it is. You can tell I'm really on holiday mode now. My hair's just gone a bit wild. No makeup. We're just doing the pool life. Uh, we've just been at the indoor pool, the outdoor pool, the spa. We've been to a buffet breakfast this morning. Um, and we've got a big day of adventures. So let's keep on rolling. This is the laser tag blow ups. Takes up the whole court. They do a like big blow up course and you just like run through it. Oh, I wish I did that. But we've got to get to Shuttleboard, which starts in <laughs> three minutes. Done it and haven't done this. Oh. I don't think our instructors turned them out. No, I don't think so either. This was meant to be the family shuttleboard competition, and I don't reckon that they're gonna they're gonna show. No. I reckon it's an independent game. It was self-managed. Yeah. Uh, it was. They just didn't rock up. We're gonna head back inside. Oh, Paris, what are you getting? A hot dog. A hot dog. How good is that? Oh, they're packing away the laser skirmish. Getting ready for thong, thong throwing. Oh, now the bionic bar's open. This is what Paris wanted to have a little look at. Oh, it's a very slow process at the bionic bar. Got a cup, turns around, puts it in the right tray. Very clever. And then it works out what alcohol is needed. Does it put it in the, so it fills up its little cup. And then it needs some of that one as well. And fills up with that one. And then it comes around very slowly still. And then it gets whatever it needs from there. The ice. Needs some more alcohol. Come up there. Okay, so it's adding cranberry, six parts. It's a long process. Alright, then it's spun back around. Whoa, whoa! Very scary. Oi! Tip it! Oh, a little shaky, shaky. Oi! Does it wash out? Oh, yeah, and then it gets a little high blast. Oh, yeah, wash! Oh, now they come! just found Paris! All right, we've got Ruby from the Quantum, March 2021. How cute of this little message. Hi, my name is Ruby and I am 11 with this duck. You can keep it or go hide it. Have fun. Oh, how awesome is that? Oh, Nan just went and collected our photo. Oh, how good is that? Look at us. Let's call um, us the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the washy washy station where you have to come in and wash your hands. I'm coming in for the lunchtime menu. So I've got a little goodie plate for lunch. Look how cute these little cupcakes are. I'm gonna go and put Ducky in location. But you gotta act really casual. Oh. Gotta got act real casual so that no one knows what's up. So in a minute, I'm just gonna snoozy on over. Ducky is ready to be dropped. Casual swing. Oh, just tie up my shoelace. Tie, it's in spot, we're good to go. And done, nailed it. That's how you do it. I'm still gearing up for the thong throwing competition. I'm gonna have to borrow Paris' slides because obviously I've got my sneakers on right now and I actually didn't bring a pair of flip-flops, thongs, to throw. 
our sports complex manager has just changed into his referee outfit. Oh, yep, there he is. This is how intense the thong throwing competition is. All right, we've just heard the rules. I've got my two weapons. Two feet have to be on the disc. You have to throw it. The whole thong needs to be inside the hoop. And then next round will progress and we've got to get further. It'll be an additional two metres. So two metres and then the next round will be four metres if I don't get knocked out. The real technique here, I've tried the, the throw, I've tried the flop. Wouldn't wanna, wouldn't wanna pull a shoulder. I like it. Here we go. Oh! Oh, sorry. Oh, good pass, Scott. Oh, Scott. Amazing. Out. Oh, one out. One in. Finished up the uh, thong throwing competition. It was hectic. Scott got through to, I'm going to call it the grand final because there was multiple rounds. Um, although he's calling it the finals. So we'll see, we'll see. I'd like to talk it up, talk it up. Um, and then we ran, got some pizza on the way and then sat in the theatre ready for bingo. We're getting there. We're trying. Look. The numbers All aren't right, on so our side, Coast, but Coast, hard work. It's, it's hard work, but we will get there. 14, yes it is. So I wasn't a winner. Yes, it wasn't is. even close, but it was fun participating. Yes. All right, uh, this is the raspberry mousse, and it has a little rice crispy on top. This was from La Patisserie. Let's give it a little go. Got a few different ones there. Oh, hang on. Oh man, that's actually not great. Is it like sour or? Um, it's a very strong raspberry. Maybe I got too much of the sauce. Let's try it without any sauce. No, it's <laughs> not the sauce. It's the, the mousse. All right, we've come in for some trivia. This is 4.30 pre-dinner trivia. Where did Venetian blinds originate from? It's not Italy. What is the royal dog of China? All right, we just finished our trivia. We got 10 out of 20, so not too bad. The winning team got 12. Yes, we just lost by two. That other other team just, just snuck in front. We were team washy washy. Uh, we're gonna head out for dinner because tonight we actually have Star Water, which is the theatre show um, held in 270. Bit of a performance tonight. Nan's advice, if you don't want to feel the, the sea rockiness, you just do this apparently. <laughs> yep, can't feel a thing. Not rocky at all. <laughs> Nan's fun tips. <laughs> we got a bit of chaos because we've just realised we've got dinner, we've got the show and I haven't filmed my daily run. Is the challenge going to be over before it's even started? <laughs> there is a horrendous smell in the hallway this afternoon or the tonight. It smells like sewage. Mm, it is very punky. It's hard to deal with, actually. Mm, it is. It's my new dress I got from Go. What was it called? Go Girl, Go Girl. in Airlie Beach. They um, had like a 50% off sale. We have a lot of staff lining up for our arrival tonight. Did you did you tell them that we were all coming? We're coming, and we'd like a bit of a presentation. <laughs> We've come back into uh, the American Icon Grill for dinner. This is the first time we've been to the restaurant where we can actually see daylight outside. So that's pretty fun. Everyone's having a little gross of the menu. Thinking, what are we going to order tonight? Let's have a look at what we've got. We've got some starters 
our main course, and of course my favourite, the dessert menu. I like how they have a different little theme each night. We definitely will not forget that there is a survey. They remind us of the survey at every meal. The magic number is? Ten. Thank you very much and keep enjoying the rest the evening. The magic number, that's the rating they want. Ten. Ten stars. They even said it at breakfast this morning at the Windjammer. Thank your staff and make sure you fill out the survey. <laughs> I got the asparagus <laughs> and Dad got the French onion soup. I actually really liked that asparagus. I wasn't sure that I would. It's actually very tasty. Nan got the seafood cake. It was beautiful. It was really with a salad with it. Enjoyed every bit of it. So Mum has ordered the tapas. And as you can see, very nice. All gone. Now, Mum's ordered the moussaka. Moussaka. Vegetarian moussaka. So I've got the spaghetti bolognese. Dad got the uh, lamb. Look at that. Bit of a stew there with it. The turkey looks very nice. Very nice. And look at that sweet potato mash. For dessert, Pop got the cheese platter, looks very good. I got the chocolate brownie, which is topped off with some caramel popcorn and vanilla ice cream. And there you go, we leave the restaurant for the last time. Alright, we're all standing in the corridor as we decide the final plan. The next plan is 45 minutes of free time. Meet at 8 o'clock at 2.70, ready for the 8.30 Starwater show. I've just popped my head into Bolero, and I think we've got the semi-finals of karaoke. All right, we've come on up to 2.70 to watch tonight's performance of Starwater. We're sitting up in the balcony. They've started the smoke machines. This will be interesting. I just went out and filmed day 67's video. I'm cruising in the middle of the ocean off of Brisbane. Okay, we're heading to Brisbane and uh, we got today's run done. Just went out and finished today's uh, daily run for my Instagram account, Lily Gains Ground. Go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and it was raining, so hence why I'm wet. But I realized we actually haven't been up here to uh, level 2 of the Simplex Sports Complex. So we're on deck 15, but the next one up, level 2. Um, and we've got a full range of games. Air hockey, soccer, and then you can try and do some bowling. The soccer things I think are free. I don't think you have to pay for them. No. No, they're free, but air hockey you have to pay for. And the bowling you have to pay for. But it's also just another really nice space. Table tennis over there, Xbox center up there. Another table tennis room. Another table corner. tennis area. And then you've got good views of the court as well. So lots of fun. And that's where they store the bumper cars. Yeah. Cplex also has its own hot dog stand. I didn't try one, but Pop and Scott and Nan did. And they said they really enjoyed theirs. It wasn't just plain hot dogs as well. They had like chicken hot dogs, beef hot dogs. There was all sorts of hot dogs. <laughs> so this here is the Xbox complex where you can come and play some cool games. Up here is our table tennis court. So this is the arcade, games arcade. Got lots of games. You have to buy a special games card to play all these, card these games. Uh, at 
the middle of deck four um, and they've just got lots of different items, watches, scarves, jewellery, hats, all sorts, lanyards. Hats at $4.88. Yes. Hair clips. We've got these t-shirts over there for $49 US. All these t-shirts. So in here at La Pizzeria, they serve Starbucks um, coffees and beverages, and this one closes at 11 p.m. tonight. All right, so this is Sorrento's. So this is a pizza store that's open quite late. You can come and get um, a whole range of pizzas. But then over on this side, you've got Cafe Promenade. And they've got a full selection of goodies and cakes and treats. Let's just go in there and have a little look now. They've also got uh, the tea and coffees, but you'll see they've got a nice selection of sandwiches and goodies and cookies how good oh i did not see this one what is that so cafe promenade closes at 2 a.m so when i'm a little bit hungry later i can come back i'm not very hungry right now british yeah i don't know what happened there this is tomato and mozzarella sandwich it Ooh. looks like a roll to me <laughs> Well, there you go. That is our last night on the Quantum of the Seas cruise ship. What a fun five day, no, five night cruise that was. Tonight we need to jump back to our uh, staterooms, pack up the bags, because tomorrow morning all we're going to get time for is breakfast and then we need to disembark the ship. So we've really enjoyed our time here. So until next time, we'll catch you on the roundabout. Yay!